Hi everyone, my name is Alex. My name is Rizzo. I'm Jackie. My name is Priscilla, and we're students of the third semester of the BA in ELT. And we're going to explain the learning theories. Enjoy. to present the first theory that is called behaviorism. Behaviorism was first developed by Watson, Skinner and Pavlov in the early 19s. This theory says that all actions could be either learned or unlearned and that you're learning through repetition. You just receive input and then you repeat it. This is going through a process. First we have the stimuli, then the response, Depending on the response, you're going to have a positive or negative reinforcement, and then you have to show to your teacher, in this case, that you know through a product. A uh, main characteristic of this theory is that, well, as I said before, you don't focus on the process, but on the product. If you don't show the teacher that you know, then the teacher is going to fail you. And another one is that you have to avoid mistakes at any costs. And that's pretty much it. Then we have the Cognitivism. Cognitivism was first proposed by Jean Piaget in 1936. And this theory can be defined as a psychological study that focuses on mental processes, including how people think, perceive, and learn to solve problems. Jean Piaget states that there are four stages of cognitive development in this theory. First, the sensomotor stage, ages from birth to two years. And in this stage, we develop through our five senses by touching, watching, smelling, tasting, and listening. In the second stage, which is our pre-operational stage, uh, ages from two to seven years, our thinking is categorized through symbolic functions and intuitive thoughts. Uh, we learn to speak, become very curious, and ask many questions. In the third stage, which is concrete operational stage, ages from seven to 11, uh, we discover logic and develop concrete op cognitive operations such as intuitive uh, and inductive reasoning and mental structures. In the fourth and last formal operational stage, uh, we have the ability to think rationally about abstract concepts and hypothetical events. And now to humanism. Humanism is a paradigm that emerged in the 1960s. It was focused on human freedom and the potential the human can have. The central assumption of humanism is that people act with intention and values. This is a construct to the behaviorist notion of operant conditioning, which argues that all behaviors is the result of the application of, of consequence and the cognitive psychologist's belief that the discovering knowledge or constructing meaning is the central to learning. Humanism also believes that it's necessary to study a person as a whole, especially as individual grows and develop over the lifespans. It follows that the study of the cell's motivation as the goals are areas of particular interest. Uh, the proponents of humanists include Rogers and Maslow. Teaching implications of the learning theories. Behaviorism. The emphasis is in behavior. The teacher should create or break habits. The teacher should use drills and practice. And finally, he or she should give positive or negative reinforcement when needed to. Then is cognitivism. The focus is on the process of children's thinking, not just on the product. The recognition of the crucial role of children's self-initiated active involvement in learning activities. And the emphasis on practices aimed at making children adult-like in their thinking. And finally, acceptance of individual differences in, de in developmental learning. And finally, humanism. Humanism uh, involves freedom of expression as students learn what they want to learn, when they want to learn it. Teachers should guide students in their learning process. Teachers should teach ethics and values and be empathetic. And he should provide a relaxed and beneficial environment for all students. And that's pretty much it, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for watching. watching. If you want some more information, you can send us an email to bavoicechannel at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe and give a like to this video. Share the video with your friends.